Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video is subject, How to Tell if Your Cat Has Dementia. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Feline dementia is a form of cognitive decline that's similar to Alzheimer's disease in humans. Your cat will undergo a series of personality changes such as bursts of anger and aggression, confusion, and difficulty recognizing you. It will likely start soiling outside its litter box, interact less, and lose interest in play, grooming, and eating. The condition known as feline dementia occurs when a cat's general cognitive functions begin to decline. Comparable to dementia or Alzheimer's disease in humans, it's not uncommon for senior cats to display some level of cognitive decline. Typically becoming more pronounced at and beyond the age of 15, feline dementia is more than just a natural part of aging. This is why it's important to recognize the symptoms of dementia and do everything possible to ensure that your pet's golden and twilight years are as healthy and as safe as possible. Do all cats develop feline dementia? That's a question that is a lot more common than some would probably think, as it can be easy, at least on the surface, to associate the general slowing down of life with cognitive decline. While the odds of developing dementia do increase as cats age, all felines do not develop dementia. On a personal note, one of my cats passed away at the age of 20, and while his body did fail him, his mind, well, it was as sharp as attack until the very end. As with any health ailment and condition, a proper diagnosis is key. Feline dementia will be diagnosed and confirmed by a vet. The evaluation and final conclusion typically takes place during an overall health and wellness checkup. Vets often follow a, met a methodology excuse me, known as DISHA to access cognitive decline. This overall assessment is also made on the answers that you provide to your vet in respect to your cat's overall behavior and demeanor. DISHA. Let's take a closer look at how this process unfolds. D, disorientation in your cat as it goes about its daily business or activities. I, interaction becoming increasingly infrequent and erratic. S, sleep patterns growing disturbed for both the feline and for you. H, house training being forgotten, leading to soiling outside of the litter tray. And A, altered activity levels and heightened A, anxiety. While each of these signs and symptoms can be assigned to other health concerns, if any of these symptoms are clustered or if affirmed through owner questioning, there's certainly one step closer to confirmation. Neurological examinations can also be conducted, including an MRI. This by and large is where you come in as an owner because initial recognition of a potential cognitive issue will begin with you. In this section, we'll offer a list of the most notable signs and symptoms of feline dementia. These are concerns that we advise you to start paying attention to once your cat reaches the age of 10 to 15, especially 15 and beyond. While we do not want you to be in constant worry of this and wringing your hands about it, standard observation is very important. For every symptom that seems obvious, there are many others that can be subtle or confused for something else. This is why it's important to not only observe what you've seen, but examine uh, the collective, the big picture. If your cat seems to have any issues appearing at the same time or many issues appearing at the same time, we advise you to seek the care of a vet where a full cognitive exam can be conducted. Here's a list of signs and symptoms to pay attention to during your cat's golden years. Personality changes, stark changes from the cat that you've always known. Mood swings and uncharacteristic aggression. Excessive clinginess. Lack of engagement, lack of grooming, memory loss, failure to recognize owners, the feeling that your cat just doesn't know or trust you anymore, the sense that you're now a stranger, 
eating less, eliminating outside of the litter box, confusion and disorientation, staring into space. This is different than, say, a focused look out the window. Entering and leaving rooms, coming and going. Your cat can't remember why it entered a room, and it's not sure why it left. Getting lost, especially within your home. The common pathways in your home now seem uncertain and unfamiliar. Reversed sleep-waking cycles, usually hallmarked by total sleep during the day and being awake during the night. And finally, we have distress at night. Anything that has now become unfamiliar during the day becomes more extreme at night due to the darkness and the absence of your presence within the room or the living area itself. Cats in distress will become very vocal and find it extremely hard to relax. If your pet has been diagnosed with dementia, there are certain steps that you'll need to take in order to make your cat comfortable. We offer the following tips. Multiple litter trays, an unchanging routine, at least to the best of your ability, multiple assigned resting areas for your pet, healthy diet and daily exercise, regular reassurance, and the calming of the fears. This new life with your pet will require an endless amount of patience, not too much unlike caring for a senior adult in this fashion. It will be on your shoulders to exercise both forgiveness and understanding, as sadly, many of the actions your cat will take from this point forward will be out of their control. Your pet will likely no longer understand when they've done something wrong. Your patience will be essential. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, most notably independent and detailed content concerning each of the signs and symptoms of feline dementia that were acknowledged here today, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.